Hey everybody, it's Mike Fahey with Toy Time and welcome to Beasts of Balance. Uh, this is a app connected board game of sorts, sort of a balance game really. Uh, the game back here from a company called Sensible Objects released last year, very popular. And what it is, it's kind of a, well, I do a lot of stuff with like Skylanders or Disney Infinity, rest in peace, uh, Lego Dimensions. This game uh, takes the same sort of scanning object power, but applies it to a family-friendly board game. Now what we do is we download the app for free, we get the box set, uh, which comes with all these little pieces, these cool little pieces. And if you see here, each has this little marker on it. Now we have elements, we have special abilities, uh, we have some these pieces aid in building, but also have effects. And then we've got the animals, the beasts. And then these cool, uh, like polygon creatures. Uh, we've got a uh, bear, warthog, octopus. Very cool and stylized. My kids really like them, um, but they also like playing the game. Now, let's begin, and I'll show you how this works. So this is the plinth. This is the, this is the base from which you balance beasts. Now you take a beast like the warthog here, you tap him to the front of the base, and you place him on the plinth. So he has joined my land, and basically you're building, you're creating this land with these animals. Now I can take another beast, since I have some room there and I will need it. Take the octopus. So the plinth recognizes what piece it is. And then can tell by, I guess, weight and sensors and such, what's on there. So now we have an octopus in the sea, the warthog in land. And you'll notice they both have three power here on the screen. That means they are balanced, which is good. We want that. Now, let's take this. What will this do? We'll place it on top of those two. we have created a new animal, the Hogdopus. Now, I've unlocked many of these on my kid's iPad. This is my iPad Pro right now, so we're, we're discovering new things as we go. Now, this is a six, uh, so the balance is off, and I believe it'll steal power from the octopus uh, the further we go. We can add elements, though. Maybe these element pieces here, like this is water and air, I think? Well, let's find out. Easy enough. Air and water. So if I add this to the top of this little tower. Since we have no air creatures, that power is going straight to the water. No air beasts. So now the octopus has four. But since the octopus is still more special, they're still losing power and Warthog is endangered. Which is bad. So, here's a land piece. This is a land element, I believe. Make sure. Earth and Earth. And you can stack these any way you want. The key is not to have everything knock over and everyone die. So yeah, that may have been too powerful because the octopus is still going to be stealing stuff from them. Uh, and the octopus is going to be endangered soon. Let's go ahead and add another animal. Because that makes sense. It's probably bad. Look at this guy right here. These are so adorable. And again, my kids really like them. Uh, the, the, the simplistic shapes of like the eagle here really resonate with them. Oh, this is going to be bad. Now, let me, let me adjust my camera angle here so you can see what's going on here. This is bad. So now we have the eagle joining the sky. 
And uh, yeah, that octopus is still stealing energy from everything. The octopus is going to die. And I don't like that. I don't want my octopus to die. Let's do it again. Migrate. Oh, oh, this is really bad. I might have to zoom out here. So now the octopus <clears throat> is in the sea, and it's a squidward. And it's the most adorable thing ever. As you can see, the, the, the tower here is getting precarious. Well, it's not as bad as some of my creations have been. Um, let's add... Let's go with this. A toucan. And we should be able to... Wow, can I even get the toucan in the shot? Oh, there we go. Now, you want to balance not just the animals, but the, uh... No, the octopus is dead now. That's so sad. Poor octopus. We're sorry. And the warthog's endangered. I am not good at creating this. Now, ideally, players could take turns doing this. Uh, that's what I do with my kids. Um, and I find, I don't know, uh, traditional board games with my kids, they're both on the autism scale. Um, all the little pieces, Monopoly goes everywhere. These... These stick stick around, and with the app integration, uh, the screen keeps their attention focused, so they don't just want to throw these around. They know they do things on the screen. Uh, like, well, gosh, how much more balancing can I do? Think we can add a bear? We cannot add a bear. This is going to be bad. What I should do is add an element. Oh, 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 no, oh, no. Now look, I have that much time to rebuild my world, and it's not happening. We're all going to die. Game over. But that's the joy. You can rebuild. You can start again. There's a whole bunch of combinations. Now, they do sell <clears throat> additional beasts on their website, and I think they just lost, launched a Kickstarter uh, just recently for whole new game modes, new beasts, a new experience. Band edition uh, of Beasts of Balance, and I think it's doing pretty well. Gosh, I want to start over again, but I don't have enough time on the video. This is Beast of Balance from uh, Sim Sensible Objects in the UK. Uh, it should be available wherever they sell things like this. Uh, I have to play again because that's not fair.